Hi, I'm here with Lynn Brock again. And what we're going to talk about now is we're going to talk about endo versus implants because that's an area that is really uh, on everyone's mind. And there's a lot of questions that come up. Should a tooth be saved? Should we do an implant? Clearly, there is a lot of detail to talk about, but we're just going to talk about some of the philosophical uh, ramifications of the question of saving versus removing teeth. And I'd be very interested in hearing uh, Lynn's opinion on this area. So, Lynn, what do you think? Endo versus implants has been the topic of conversation over the past you know, what, 20, 15, 20 years or so at least. And I'd be really curious to, to see how you feel about the subject. Well, while we don't deny implants have certainly changed dentistry and there's certainly a place for them, but if it were your tooth, what would you rather have? Let's say, for example, your maxillary premolar. Would you rather have an implant or would you rather have a, um, an extract, uh, an implant or an endodontic procedure? Well, actually, it's funny you should ask that because I actually have had, I, I had to face this uh, question about 20 years ago, uh, 21 years ago, and I chose to have a root canal and the tooth is still in my mouth. And that was, tw it's funny because today that same premolar that ended up needing to have the root canal and a crown and a core buildup and actually also crown lengthening, yeah. uh, wasn't, wasn't really brushing as well as I should have back then. Uh, but uh, so that tooth is still in my mouth 21 years later and that would have been uh, removed by today's standards. So that's really interesting to, to how things have changed. And um, so what do you think about the, uh, uh, what indications do we have for implant treatment, in your opinion? What are the indications for implants? Mm -hmm. um, the indications for implants are when the root canal is not a choice. And I think when, and I'm a, if I was a dentist evaluating whether or not to save this tooth, mm -hmm. let's say it, it's already had a root canal treatment. A lot of the dentists think, well, since it's already had a root canal treatment and perhaps that root canal treatment is failing, we'll extract this tooth and do an implant. They don't think about the endodontist. And the endodontist is an important role because we can evaluate that root canal. Yeah. And you, how many, what percent retreatment do you do? I know I probably do 10, 20% retreatment yeah, and have a high yeah. success rate with yeah. it. So there are other options. Retreatment, there's also um, apicoectomy, surgeries, and we're going to talk in the future more about surgeries and some surgical tips for all of you out there. And um, I feel like what you really need to evaluate, if it was your tooth in your mouth, what would you want? Make it a patient-based philosophy because if it's good for your patient, it's going to be good for you. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100%. Uh, and it's almost at a deeper level, it has to do with um, the value we have for our dentition, right? I mean, we spent, in my opinion, the past century uh, trying to educate patients about the value of their teeth. And then the past 15 years, we just went like through all of that goodwill down the tube and 